We're here, baby. Welcome. Another Wednesday in the house of hop. That's right. Your host Ooh. to my left, the amazing, Ooh. the incredible, Ooh. the spectacular, mucho sex Ooh. of a man. Me gusta. Ooh-ha! Yo, I've never had somebody introduce me before like that. There's that a was first fantastic. for everything. I was feeling it. I was feeling it. I was feeling the hype. You didn't know how to start, so I figured we'd start off by introducing the man who runs the place. Wow, the this, face that runs the place. Wow, this right here, I'm, I'm, I'm honored, Jay. Thank you so much for that no wonderful problem, introduction. Um, obviously, Jay Dickey Evans joins me here in the House of Hop. Welcome back. Yeah. Thank you for joining us for the House of Hopcast. Um, Jay, always a pleasure, always. Well, uh, listen, let's not waste any time. Let's get right down to the nitty and the gritty of it. Everybody wanted it. Nobody, well, actually, nobody wanted it. We really, <laughs> that's terrible. Well, man. that's not true. We got one. We've got <laughs> one email. One email. That's right. We talked about Doc Hop. That's me. Okay, that cool, would be where cool. I do the. Um, I give you advice about your life. I know, yeah, whatever yeah, it is it that's you awesome. would like um, me to give you advice on. Okay, that's what I'm here to do. All right, but we've only got one email, one taker, and I'll I take don't, it. I don't know if it was there prior to last week when I bitched on the Hopcast about nobody <laughs> giving a flying f. But I did rummage through some emails and I found it. So let Perfect. me get the iPad. Cool, cool. Yeah, right. pull it out. Pull it out. <clears throat> All right, so bear with me because one, I'm terrible at reading, and two, my voice is a little off. So I've got my season's greetings coffee. Mm. Getting down to that holiday season, Root, ladies and gentlemen. Rootlistcoffee.com. Uh, it's almost discount code. Do have coffee. Link in the description. Link Get in it. the description. All right, so here we go. Here we I'm go. I'm pulling out the iPad. I'm the pulling first up. letter. This is a one and only email. Will Doc Hop for be the up Doc for the Hop, challenge? which is me? I'm I'm here to give you the best of life advice, and I've got my son's iPad to do it. The dude, Doc. Shout, shout out the dude. Yes, Doc Hop submission. It says, "Dear Do Hop." Yeah, that's me. <laughs> I'm looking to do something fun to do for my girlfriend's 21st birthday. So my question is. What did you do for your 21st birthday? And what can I do for my girlfriend to make her birthday a good time? <clears throat> P.S. I got us a hotel with a winky eye emoji. Oh! A winky eye emoji. I love it. Wait a minute. I like it. I love it. I want some more. He, he knows what's going down in that hotel yeah, room. For real. All right. Sincerely. And then he put his name. You can say my name on camera. Should we say his name yeah, on camera? Yeah, do it. Do it. Do it. it? Yep, yep, yep. All right. Brayden, we all know what you got that hotel room for. Brayden, yeah, oh, Brayden, my man. Uh, well, listen, you can't go buying. You can't go. Let, all right. Well, first and foremost, you cannot go buying a hotel room and expect to be smashing and getting in that box if you haven't already <sighs> done it before. Don't think that that's going to be the magical first time if you haven't just. You know what I'm saying? Don't don't set your expectations that this is going to be it for the first time. And oh, then if it do. doesn't happen, be all let down. You could be wrong. They could be dating for months, years, you know. And let's, well, like I said, all right, so if you're buying a hotel room and you've already smashed, then sure, yeah, expectations are you're going to get laid. But if you haven't banged this broad already before, don't expect Bro. it's going to happen, all right? And if it doesn't happen, all right, whatever. Try again next time. Well, it, dep- it all depends on where, too, I would say. Like a hotel, like if I'm, if I'm me planning, you know, a 21st birthday, it would be Atlantic City, uh, easily one of the hotels, like probably Ocean. You know, boom. Well, he okay. doesn't exactly say where. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't All know, right. You know, so that's right. what that's what I'm saying. Like, so, if he's from Jersey, Atlantic City. Yeah, maybe he's got a hotel and he's like taking her to like Dallas, Texas, or something. Yeah, Dallas. who knows? I don't know where they live. I'm, Needed I'm, more specifics. <laughs> no, you don't. All right. So now, what he wants to do is make something special. Oh, he asked what I did on my 21st birthday. Yeah, tell him. All right. So if you want to find, tell if, if you want to pull up Google Maps. Okay, you can go right to Main Street, Asbury Park, New Jersey, and find a little kitty building called The Saint. The Saint. It's <laughs> My band played there like a thousand and one times. Yeah. But, yeah, but um, th- I was at a show there the night I turned 21. So like at midnight, I bought my first beer at The Saint in Asbury Park, New Jersey. Wow. Oh, 
Boy, do I regret that. <laughs> <laughs> Why? Because it's a terrible story. Nobody can. We're like, wow, that's awful. You think I would have done something fun? No. But um, that's what I did for my 20. I was watching a friend's rock band, and he had mild success, like nationally. I think it was in a band called Love in Reverse, I think. Never heard of it. Right. Um, <laughs> well, it was also 25 years ago. Yeah, you weren't yeah. even born, you douchebag. Um, hey, I'm 26. That's true. Um, so a year. What year did I turn 21? I don't know. Didn't you say it was... Uh, 2002, maybe? Didn't you say 2001, I think? Because if I... All right, I'm born 2002. 97. Yeah, 2002, I turned 21. Oh, okay. So, <clears throat> with that being said, um, I, I lost... Oh, so that's what I did, and it was terrible, and I wish I had something done, something much cooler than be at the Saint for a, a crappy local rock band who had mild success at, at Lollapalooza. That's so cool, because like, I've actually been to the Saint. See, multiple times you know what i'm talking about and yeah. now everybody did because they found it on google maps all right so now he wants to do something special for his girlfriend jay which tell th- him here's my problem i can't just tell com. you i can't just tell you hey listen this is what you should do sha, sha, sha. what you should or should have done already okay is pay attention to when this broad speaks okay <laughs> she tells you something no for real all right so Walking, listen. I'm hanging out with this broad. She's talking about how she had never been to New York City during Christmas. And she talked about how the Rockets were so great. What did I do? Unbeknownst to her, bought her tickets to the show and took her to New York. Because I paid attention to what the broad was talking about. To what the broad was talking about. And we had a magical night in New York. A magical night. It was wonderful. I had a great time. I know you you snapped me about it. It's fantastic. Brady, and to anybody else that can hear the sound of my voice and actually gives a shit, all right? If you're going to do something special, listen to what she has done, hasn't done, and or tailor your special event to whatever it is that serves her the best, okay? That's what you need to do. So if she had talked about being like a great bowler or or in, and wanting to bowl and like, man, it'd be my dream to go to Missouri and use those special bowling lanes that you see on TV all the time. I don't know. I'm pulling all of that out of my ass, but I'm just giving a scenario. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Like that's her dream. She wants to bowl on those certain lanes. Well, you bought the hotel for that certain town that houses those lanes and you took her there because nobody else ever did. Oh my God. You remembered. I told you that seven months ago. Ooh, diddle, diddle, diddle. Now you got laid in the hotel room. Pow! That's how you make it special. What he said. Pow! <laughs> That's how you make it special. Yeah. Yeah. All right, Jay. Listen. All right, Duha. Uh, um, that is my advice for uh, Braden. Doc Hop. Not, right. not a bad first. So, uh... Thank you on that. Shoosh. <laughs> I had to put the thank you in there. No, Braden, for you real. Mark. I mean, I said it very <laughs> ignorantly, but it's goddamn true. All right, and uh, apply yeah, that. doesn't, uh, you know, let you down easy. He tells it like it is. I, mi- I don't mince my words. I get it very yeah. through very clearly. And like I said, sometimes it might sound ignorant, but tell me I'm He's wrong. doing it for a reason, yeah. Yeah, for real, for real. I got my iPad out, Jay. Guess why I got my iPad out? Because we have some questions of would you rather answer. <clears throat> well, let me tell you something. I took a sneak peek. I didn't took go through. Took a sneak peek. What do we got? How many go people we got? A lot? I, don't, I don't know how many. But I do know they're all still there. And the ones that I did see, some of them were actually a little disappointing because they weren't would-you-rathers. They just uh, asked questions. No. What? There was some schmuck that just wrote his name three times. <laughs> but what the f*** is that, bro? Did you pay attention to what the fuck I wrote? <laughs> so, you can laugh, bro, but I am not lying. Oh, man. <laughs> all right, so... Hope we don't get any interference here from the iPad. Typically, we don't. But um, I'm going through, and I'm about to pull up. You just put your name. We asked, would you rather? A simple question, man. (laughs) Well, I I literally wrote, leave your would you rather for us to read on the Hopcast. And I'll do this. Literally, I told Jay this was a bad idea, but he said throttle forward. (laughs) Again, tell me I'm wrong. So here we go. Jay. Let's dive deep into these responses. Let's click oh, see God. all. Now I can only imagine. All right, here we go. Ready? <clears throat> there was a lot of, uh, I don't know, here. Would you rather get, wait, this is Money Lover, one, four, three. Here we go, Money Lover. I love lover. money, too. 
<laughs> Would you rather get eagle assed with Riddle or Prince Nana? Riddle. Yeah, I don't care really. Yeah, I want to smoke. Cool, I've always cool wanted shit. to smoke with Riddle. You know Sorry. who got? You know who did? Who? Philly Mike. Did he really? Yeah. Fuck you, Philly Mike. No, I love Philly Mike. And, for uh, real. That's cool. And P. Corvus hung out with him a few times, too. No, yeah. I mean, Riddle had some mistakes, and he got fired or whatever, but um, I still went on a smoke with him. All right, so hold Definitely. on. Definitely. That was a good one. Uh, I'll tell you. Joshua, would you rather have the dude talk smack about Jay Evans or <laughs> challenge him to a wrestling match? I feel like the dude does both, Josh. Yeah, yeah, he... The dude does talk smack, but in a good way. You know what the best part about him is when he does challenge you to any type of battle? He doesn't like challenge you to, he goes, do you want a WWE yeah. match? <laughs> All the time. Like when he beats me up, he's like, yeah, dad, you want a WWE match? I'm like, oh my God, here we go. Here Give me big boong. You know, pretty good. All right, here we go. This guy says, who you bang and would you rather Mandy or live? Oof. <laughs> That's tough. Our huh? team. Our team. Woody, come on, man. That's a tough one. Who you got, Can you Joe? go first on that one? Oh, it's so easy for it. me. It's not even a, an option. It's live. Hands down. But Mandy. Oh, man. For real, live. I'm about to go with Mandy on that I one. I knew you would, you oh, need simp. It. Need Unbelievable. It. Need right. that in my life. Oh, my God. All right. So, uh, Bastine Derek says, would you rather... Eat yourself randomly during every day or piss yourself once each. Uh, would you rather eat yourself randomly during every day or piss yourself once each day? I don't know if that exactly made sense, but I read it word for word and I did my best. Huh. I feel like what he's going for is eat yourself once <laughs> yeah. a week randomly or piss yourself every day. <laughs> That's really a good one, though, for real. <laughs> that is wild. Because, like, if you think about it, you got to... You know, well, one, if, you can't only, plan it. It's random. Yeah, 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 it's random, but it only happens once. Whereas if you piss, yeah, right. it's every day. It's every day, and I, it's honestly, random. bro, I think I'd have to go with the shit. Me too. <laughs> At least six days a week, you could secure yourself right? some sort of interaction with yeah. a female and not have <laughs> okay. to risk blowing ass. Uh, I would definitely eat the bullet on that one and go for, with the shit. Yeah, for real. All right, Nunzio Hop. Um, would you rather go down on May Young and collect ten million? Or sex with Liv Morgan and lose everything you own. Yo. Wow. <sighs> wow. May Young, you gotta you gotta go, you gotta give a face party to May Young and you get ten million. Or you get to to go to bed with Liv Morgan and you lose everything you own. I don't know, man. I am a hard, hard fucking worker. I'm gonna I'm taking the huge L. Liv wins twice in this one for me. Let's see, I'm taking that for real. I'll lose everything. I am a hard work. I'm gonna get it all <laughs> back. Don't you sweat it. Uh, what do you got, Jay? I'll go with May Young. Oh wow, I knew you would. You get more money for Grails. Up Dude, there. you know what I can do with ten million? Dancing all day. Here. <laughs> Unbelievable. Yeah. Would you rather take Emi Sakuri from? Chaka Pro Pro Wrestling or take a chop from Gunther? Oh, take a chop from Gunther. Yeah. I just want to be in the same fucking room with him. Yeah, that'd be badass. For real. Would you rather? Uh, that was uh, Ian Crooks. Ian Crooks. I'm trying to remember to say names, too, because the last time we tried this Instagram yeah, thing, I botched shot the him crap out. Yeah, out of you it. did. Yeah, for real. All right, so Stephen Kelly. Keep him coming. Keep him good. Would you rather, good. if you had one chance to go wrestle in AEW or WWE, what would you rather? WWE. I, I mean, that's hands down, especially at this point with AEW. So it's always been WWE from the jump. Yeah. I mean, well, I mean, I, you know what? Three years ago, I may that may have struggled with that. AEW was really, really just starting out, and they were super popular, super hype. There was a lot of momentum. Three years ago, that would have been a struggle. Now, having, um, I mean, Tony Khan in a world of S at, with TNT... Sold him a, a show, Collision, based on having CM Punk and then si fired the mucker, and then he shows up in WWE. They're like, yo, what happened to our ratings and our millions you promised us because of this guy? He's on the other fucking show now. So Tony's going to lose Tony Khan and AEW, and, and it, the reports are out that he's probably going to lose TNT. And God knows where AEW wrestling is yeah, going to show up. Going? 
the reports are out that Fox and USA are done with WWE, and WWE is going to go to TNT. That'd be wild. I mean, that's the, all of the rumors. So, based on that alone, I'm going to WWE. But let's face it, there's a lot of other positives to be in the world wrestling entertainment. You know what I'm saying? Definitely. All right, so this is the douche that wrote his name. <laughs> Another one from Drew that said they asked the same question. Um WWE figure fan, you would you rather win the Rumble or win the money in the bank? Definitely the Royal Rumble. I know, right? I feel like the Rumble has a little bit, not or maybe even a lot it's just of the bit history, more, more the history prestige. Behind it, right? yeah. yeah, you know what I'm saying? Like you're the one Rumble winner. Not only, <clears throat> not not to say that the money in the bank hasn't been established because it is, right? You know, but, but I mean, when you're Royal Rumble winner, not only do you hold that title, but the spotlight is on you. Until you get that main event, yeah. you know, whether and win or lose, absolutely, you know what I'm saying. You've got a fucking heat target on you from the Rumble to Mania. I can't think of anything better for anybody than winning the Rumble. And and Stone Cold did it twice in a row. And rumors are, rumors are Cody's gonna win it again this year. Adrenaline <laughs> in my soul. Oh my god, I wouldn't mind seeing that at all. All right, so some of these are just really... Joel, I don't know what you got going on. <laughs> this is just wild, bro. I can't get into that. Oh, God. No, for real. I don't read it. It, 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 you, I'll show it to you later. <laughs> it's that bad. <laughs> yeah. uh, would you rather get... Shane, would you rather get higher than an eagle's ass or higher than the sun? Um, Ooh. <laughs> I, I, I mean, let's face it. We're, we're, high, we're eagle's we're ass right now. right now. So it's, Yeah. Um, Oh, wait a minute. All right, so this is a good one, Jay. This Let's is actually it. a really good one. Good, Raymond good. Williams, 1998. Yeah. Raymond. Huge shout out to Raymond for leaving a good one. Jay, you do this all the time, so this is great for you. <laughs> I feel like this is actually a tailored question to Jay. Okay, so Jay. Yeah, so do I. You take pictures of your penis all the time and send it. <laughs> I mean, I get one like weekly. All right. So you send no that way. picture. You send that picture out. I do out. not do that. You accidentally <laughs> send it. Okay, you accidentally send it to the wrong person. Would you rather that wrong person be your father or your boss? Whoa. I know what your, your answer should be. <clears throat> well, considering I know my boss on a personal level now, I think I, would go, I think I would go with the boss. I think you're going, I was going to say that should be your answer because I know your boss pretty well myself. And uh, if you guys don't know it, me and Jay work yeah. together. I, I helped him get a trucking job with me. So, um, so I know your boss pretty well. I, yeah. I would have said that the boss is the acceptable answer. I and mean, you know what? Not for nothing. Me too. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, man. <laughs> if you know, you know. All right, so anyway. Uh, <laughs> uh, if you don't know, night, act like you know. <laughs> night of nerdum. Night of nerdum. That was good. Um, would you rather go one year without getting a glass or one year without caffeine? I think <sighs> this one specifically tailored to me, you son of a bitch. All I right? think I would have to be the eagle bass. I need my caffeine, man. Well, here's my problem. I don't think my body can function without either one at this point. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're in too deep with the... With the eagle ass. Right. I think I would collapse really hard if I didn't have caffeine. Okay. And, and it might be, I might go through like a long-term withdrawal without having caffeine. All right. But yeah, without the me. eagle oh. ass too, I, I mean, I wouldn't even get I out mean, of bed to try to go to work. You'd be down bad. Yeah. I don't know. Right. I mean, like it's my only drive to like come home and relieve myself of uh, life's pressures. Oh my God! And I just get higher than an eagle's ass yeah, for real, and sit here and make you guys laugh at the uh, Hopcast. I, I don't know what I would do there. I really don't. I would probably, I would probably try, in my opinion, try to give up caffeine, which is tough. I'm literally drinking coffee right now. Wow, I, I can't. I, I don't never, think I, I can, love my energy drinks I way too much. Don't think I can give up the Lord's medicine. All right. Would you rather film forever with Do Hopper Grim? I don't even know what that means. <laughs> I guess maybe they, maybe that's for me. They love them in. Maybe that is for you. Would you rather? Who's got to go away? Grim or me? Who would you rather film? See, this, all is, the this is kind of tough because like me and you, we're best friends. And then like I, I started on Grim's. Like he was the one who 
made Jay Evans who he is today. So it's like, you got to choose. I don't know, man. I, honestly, bro, even though I've had so many accomplishments in GTS, nothing beats Wednesdays at the Hopcast. I was going to say, I'm going to throw you out of my house. <laughs> you don't say, Pick me, you son of I wanted bitch. to prolong it a little bit. <laughs> I love you. I right. <laughs> love you too, man. Uh, Heel AJ, a big fan. As in, I'm a big fan of him. All right. I know he'll AJ quite well. What up, AJ? All right. For AJ. real. He wants to know, would you rather have a GTS Grim and Mania streak? I guess much like The Undertaker. Yeah. Or uh, have the title shot for three years. So I guess be in the main event three years running. So you're either the three years running the main event at Grim and Mania, which I think I have been. And uh, or have a streak, which I think I think I had a streak at one point. My Grim and Mania streak is terrible. Points. Yeah. A lot of times you come to Grim and Mandy just to put people over because you're OG, which we love. Yeah, that's what I do, baby. Appreciate you. Um, I don't know. At this point, I'd probably rather have the uh, streak like The Undertaker because that's yeah, pretty, that'd be cool. pretty cool. Um, <clears throat> would you rather take an F5 by Attitude Era Brock or take an AA by PG Era Cena? I read that word for word. I'd go to Brock. I would like to take an F5 from Brock. Oh, yeah? You're going yeah. Brock? Um, I don't know. I, I go with the Cena. I like no. Cena. I, I feel like... I mean, I, I like Cena, too. Like, I feel I, you like know, my I... body is in a little bit... Um, like, Brock would probably throw me and not care, whereas Cena might throw me in. <laughs> and then at least ask Dude, me I would if love I was all right. to be in the ring with Brock. <laughs> I go at least uh. ask me if I was okay. <laughs> um, who said that? Sky, Sky TBMS Wales. I'm not sure who that is. Yeah, like, Sky. Sup, yo. All right, here we go. What do we got? Oh, we we're going Doug. Protein Fitness Doug. Would you rather eat spicy food challenge or eat a sour candy challenge? I think I've done both. And I prefer sour candy over spicy sh crap. <clears throat> no, I'll tell you why. I can't eat spicy. Every time I eat spicy now, it makes me feel like I got pins and needles all over my whole body. Oh. And I itch. I can't eat anything spicy anymore. I'm too old. It's so I'm going it's sour on that. I, what do you? What are you? Are, um, you? are you sour or spicy? <laughs> I mean, I'm a bitch when it comes to spicy food, but like I still eat it. Um, so like mild is like the most I'll go with for sauce. But uh, honestly, I think I'll go with the sour candy. Yeah, I, I think yeah. it's that's the way to go. I think uh, you're a little out of your mind. Have you real quick side note? I guess based on that, have you seen that old man? I've seen him on Instagram reels. I'm sure he's on TikTok where he just eats gobbles and gobbles of the hottest peppers covered in like oh, chili yeah, yeah. wax tabasco yeah. stuff. and he's just like oh my god <laughs> and he's like ah! bro you know and when he's, um he's screaming like what is wrong with this man bro when when i was in high I school i hope you know what i'm talking about i do i do <laughs> not with them too we were like yo last day of school let's all go to our friend vinny's house and he bought ghost peppers so that's like the second hottest pepper in the world and you know, you we did, all like, did, did like a little cheers. Fucking ate him, bro. Ah, uh, that was the hottest thing that I've ever put in my mouth. I regretted it immediately. I swallowed it. I was like, oh, it was disgusting. Let me tell you, the hottest just... thing I ever put in my mouth. Her name was. <laughs> all right, moving on. Wow. Whoa. Tell me I'm uh, lying. That's a bombshell. Yo, tell me I'm lying. All right. Um, this guy just wrote GTS Wrestling. Thanks for showing up. <laughs> <laughs> Appreciate you. <laughs> I don't even know what this means. Would you rather... Oh, uh, would you... <clears throat> never mind. Would you rather wrestle Flash or Iris? I don't know who Iris is. I assume you mean Iris. Yeah. Flash. Um, yeah, I'd rather, rather beat up Flash. Uh, somebody asked me if I'd rather buy a dog or lick my brother's feet. <laughs> WWE champ the bomb. What is wrong with you? <laughs> Please answer it. <laughs> Would you rather buy a bull mastiff puppy, which is a baking dog, okay, or lick Dave's feet? <laughs> Can you answer it, please? <laughs> Well, maybe he directed that at you, you jerk off. I'll answer it. Too. Oh, then you first. I'll get the dog. I'm licking the top of his foot because that dog. <laughs> I don't even want this cat anymore. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Drew cat and tires. All right. All right. Hold on. All right. 
That does, that clearly how both <laughs> off you started your wrestling. <laughs> what does that even mean, Isaac? Reform it and come back with something new. All right, so listen. Here's the last one. <laughs> The last question. The last one. And I'll tell you right now, if you actually don't answer this properly, we might not be friends. Oh, that's shit. this. Would you rather might break Saving us? Saving the best for last. Yeah, I know. This might break us, Jay. All right. Ready? Ready. Samurai. I think I said that right. Samurai, Matt. Uh, 98. Bro, you got the winning question. I want Samurai you to know Samurai, right Matt. Samurai, Matt got the winning question. So. Samurai Matt, I hope you're paying attention. Appreciate you checking in. For real, this is a All right, enough anticipation, mother. I know, in the building, I love it. All right, here we go. (laughs) Would you rather get, this is a tattoo. Okay. Would you rather get a tattoo of, I'm assuming it's the logo. I don't think you have to get all five members. But would you rather get a Backstreet Boys or InSync tattoo? Yeah. And you said on your butt? It doesn't say where. Oh. It just says tattoo. I will. Uh, I will go first if you, if you really need time to think. But I'm telling you, as soon as I give my answer, we're gonna know right off the bat here if we're still friends, Jay. Okay. Well, I have my answer. Oh, you have your answer? I do. All right. Yeah. All right. So, I kind of so want to answer. I kind of. I, I kind of want to answer first, though. Like I. I feel it. Are you ready? Or we just shout it. I, I, are you just going to shout it? Because I'm going to be like, it's tearing up my heart. Backstreet Boys, oh baby. My God, we're not friends. <laughs> I'm, sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I gotta... feel it too. Nah, I... And no matter Backstreet what Boys I was do, where it's at. I'll feel the pain. With uh, or without my you. Heart. I don't know if I could come over on Wednesdays Yo, anymore. Yo, for real. You think it's where it's at. Why are you all backstreeting on me? You are oh. my fire, the one desire. <laughs> no, total. I I I am yeah. getting the uh, well. You what you should do is get the ninety eight degrees because that was an actual. I think one of them actually has the ninety eight degrees tattoo, like one of the guys from that boy band. But you, that's the one you should get. I uh, I would get the in sync one, and me and Jay are no longer friends because yes, I can't believe nah, he's man. a Backstreet Boy. Backstreets back, all right, bro. That's like saying you're um, Team I, Jacob I mean, I, and not Team Edward. I, I was I, I was Team Jacob. Oh my God! <laughs> How were you Team Jacob? I was Edward. No, well, I will admit for the first four movies, stop. The first three or four movies, I was uh, a Team Jacob fan. Then I then I switched Team Edward. Unbelievable! They're, they're just so perfect. The yeah, things that, you that's find like, that's like my favorite series of movies. The oh. things you find out about your friends when you start making fun of them and realize that what you're busting their balls about is actually real. <laughs> Crazy. <laughs> all right, guys. Well, listen. Um, where is it? Round of applause for all the people that did leave. Yeah, yeah. It wasn't that wasn't bad. Would you rather? On the uh, on the old Instagram, there was lots of views on that. So everybody that did participate, thank you so much from Duop and Jay here on the Instagram. Sorry we botched it, or at least I botched it last yeah, week. Clearly, you don't know how to read. Um, were you a fan? Leave some comments of the a Doc Hop uh, first segment yeah. there, where I yeah, gave submit advice your, submit your uh, to uh, who's your that advice, advice who's life that? advice. Yeah, to submit your advice to. To so your advice. Submit your advice <laughs> to dohopshow at gmail.com. Doc Hop. Doc Hop submissions. It's kind of like Doc Hawk. I don't like Doc Hawk, but it's better because it's Doc Hop. <laughs> For real. All right, guys. <laughs> what did you think of the Hopcast today? We ain't going to know unless you leave it down low. Put it in the comments. <laughs> did you like know. the Would You Rather? You leave it down low. Are you going to be part of the Doc Hop segment in the future? It could be you. You, like you could be featured on the Hopcast. Leave some comments if you haven't done it already. And subscribe for more. And That's the wrong goddamn button. Boom. I was trying to applause for us and cheer, Jeff. But I pressed the wrong button. I always fail it. Jay, no, would you uh, rather uh-oh. a random hookup or that blonde <laughs> that you've been chasing? <laughs> Yo. See you guys next time. <laughs> <laughs> I think I broke him. <laughs>